Okay, so today we're going to fix the speedometer that seems to be 10 miles an hour slower than our actual speed. And um, I have a Muncie four-speed transmission. Here we are under the car. And this right there is where we have what's called the driven gear. There are two gears um, that drive the speedometer. It's a mechanical speedometer. Um, one is inside the gear case, um, and that's the drive gear. And then there's different colors for different types of drive gears. And then there's the driven gear, which is what is in this housing that you see here. The driven gear is obviously the easiest one to change because it's easy to take out and put on. You don't have to take apart the tranny. <laughs> so if you have an electronic speedometer, a digital speedometer, you don't typically care about the driven gear because it could work off of GPS um, or it has its own calibration um, inside the speedometer itself of which you can calibrate. But in my case, it's a mechanical speedometer. So we're going to have to do it this way unless I replace the speedometer, which I don't want to do. So um, first things first, let's see what kind of gear we have because there are driven gear we have because there are two different driven gear um, uh, to this Tetrani, depending on the drive gear that you have inside. So typically, if you find you have a 17 to 22 tooth driven gear, your drive gear inside the tranny will probably be 1.84 inches and be colored orange. If you have a 22 to 25 tooth driven gear, then your drive gear inside the tranny will be 1.76 inches and it'll be a black colored drive gear. Now, this is important to know because your driven gear needs to be compatible with the drive gear. Otherwise, you're going to damage the driven gear and possibly the drive gear and the tranny as well. And that would be such bad news because you'd have to tear apart the tranny in order to replace the drive gear. So let's go ahead and take this driven gear out. So we're going to first loosen this screw here that has a little tiny metal bracket that holds this in place. Um, and you'll see what, it, what that is. I can loosen this. This is usually hand tightened. And then you pull the housing out and there's the cable. The cable is square because the gear, the driven gear, has a square um, inner to it that this slides into and that's how this turns. Um, it, the square is what holds it in place with the gear that's turning inside. Okay, so we're going to take this out now. All right. And this is 7 sixteenths that I'm, it's typically 7 sixteenths. Okay. And this isn't very tight. Um, there we go. Okay, and you don't have to take the whole thing out. It'll kind of just turn on its own. Um, when you start pulling this out. So. There, you see what I'm saying? It's just kind of turned on its own, and now you can pull this out. There we go. Notice there's an O-ring there, and that keeps it from leaking, and there is my gear. And what I can tell already is orange, a deep orange. This is going to be um, the bigger... Um, drive gear that's inside and this looks like it's 25 teeth so in order for us to reduce the speed on the or increase the speed on the speedometer we need to lower the amount of teeth and usually it's about um, three miles per tooth so if I bring this down to the lowest I can possibly go on this size is 22 we're going to put a 22 tooth gear in its place that means it's going to be lowered by three teeth, which should bring me down to between six and eight miles an hour lower, which is acceptable because actually I don't have a choice. That's as low as I can go on the teeth without replacing the drive gear inside. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. That's what that looks like. And then you can always tell the drive gear you have inside. I don't think I can get the camera in there. But if you look inside there and shine a little light inside, you should be able to see the, the color of the drive gear in there. And I'm looking at this from my angle, and the drive gear in there is black. And that makes sense considering I just pulled out a 25 tooth gear out of it. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Let's replace that gear, and we should increase our speedometer by at least 6 to 8 miles an hour. And that's close to where we want to be. All right, stay tuned. Okay, 
So this is what we took out. Um, you don't really need to get a replacement housing like I, I do, like I have here, but um, it, they were inexpensive. It's like $17. So I figured it, let me get a new housing. Um, comes with an O-ring already. I already put the 22 tooth gear in it. And there are two washers that come with the housing. Um, one is the, actually O-rings. One is the O-ring that goes here and that'll keep oil from leaking <laughs> out of the transmission. And this other one here, okay, and that one goes in there. So you want to make sure it's seated in as far as you can. If you don't have it seated in all the way, um, your gear may not engage properly. So that's important. Okay, so this is what we're going to be replacing uh, or the replacement for the original here. Okay, so let's put that in and stay tuned. Okay, so we're back under the car. We've got our new driven gear here. We're going to slide that in. And you want to make sure that the housing, there's a flat side of the housing that you can see right there. That flat side needs to be facing this little bracket that's going to hold it in place so it doesn't spin. And you should pop it in. You should hear a little pop. Okay. Hopefully you heard that little pop. Um, and let's get this thing in place. Okay, like so. Okay, and then we just tighten this screw back up. There we go. And then we can hand tighten this and make sure this is square, um, this cable. Also, be real careful. I should have mentioned this earlier. Do not pull this cable. <laughs> if you pull this cable out, it's going to pull it out. It could pull it out of the speedometer. And then it, that's, you know, have to kind of push it back in again and hopefully it lines up. And anyways, you don't want to pull too hard on this cable. You don't want to pull it out of the speedometer. Okay, so we're going to put that cable in. Okay, there it is. And then you're going to hand tighten the cap here. There we go. Okay, that should be good. And that's it. So now we're just gonna take it on a test drive and use the Android speedometer app, which is free, um, to see what our actual miles per hour is um, through GPS on the Android phone and compare that to the uh, mechanical speedometer on the dash. And like I said, hopefully we'll see an improvement and get down close to the actual speed. Usually five miles an hour around, you know, the variance of about five miles an hour is about the most I'm willing to go, really. Um, that'll keep you out of getting a speeding ticket, usually. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, the speedometer in the car showing 40 miles an hour right now. It would have shown 50 miles an hour on the Android speedometer. But as you can see now, the Android speedometer shows 40 miles an hour. So I'll take it. We change the driven gear and reduce the number of teeth from 25 to 22 and that made up the 10 mile an hour difference so now we're matching so hope you got something out of this and uh hey like i always say you only live once live for today enjoy life peace out